You're originally from Idaho. Mm -hmm. So now Idaho has big cities. Were you from the city or, or a farm area? No, from a farm area. My, it's funny because my parents lived in the Bay Area, and then in, this is in the early 70s. They decided to go back to the land, so they bought property in Idaho. I'm like, Mom, why couldn't you have bought property in Napa, you know? Um, so they moved to Idaho, um, started farm, you know, homesteading basically, even though they had no skills whatsoever. And is that what got you thinking about it when you were in Oakland? You'd been in Seattle. Could you have pulled this off in Seattle? Yeah, and I did, actually. In Seattle, I had chickens and bees, and I, and I had plowed up the parking strip and planted vegetables, much to my na neighbor's horror. Um, and so it was, it, yeah, it was definitely something I was doing in Seattle. But in Oakland, was it important? important for you to, to do it in a not-so-nice part of a very big city? Well, for Oakland, in Oakland, you know, the Bay Area actually has some really, it's expensive there. Um, and Oakland has its own Tony neighborhoods, very high-end. Um, and the neighborhood that I chose, partially because um, the neighborhood is called Ghost Town. It's a, it's kind of a forlorn place that's been kind of abandoned. Um, there are uh, many em empty buildings and houses that are shuttered and um, so one of the things that I noticed when I moved into the apartment that w that we live next to now um, is that there was an abandoned lot. Um, and so I, I began squat gardening on it. So I just sort of took it over, um, grew vegetables, um, and now it's a huge garden with rabbits. Have your neighbors been responsive from the start? My neighbors um, at first were, uh, yeah, I, think, I feel like the, my neighbors are mostly um, from different countries. And many of those countries, um, places like Yemen, Vietnam, um, Somalia, they actually have this really um, intense urban agriculture system in place already. So for them, when I have, you know, chickens in my backyard, it's no big deal. It's like home. And so it didn't confuse people. And, you know, my landlord is from Benin. He's from Africa. Um, and so I have these goats now. And um, he doesn't even ask me about it. You know, it's just sort of like, oh, yeah, some goats. You began raising bees. New York has an ordinance against raising bees, although there are people who do it anyway. I've heard that. I've heard on rooftops venomous insects are illegal. But um, I think that people may be able to convince people that, that, to turn that over. You know, it's just going to a city council meeting and turning it over. And you, uh, you got help when your boyfriend gave you some beekeeping supplies, and then you mail-ordered bees? Mm -hmm. they, they come mm -hmm. in the mail? Yeah, I mean, you can order them in New York, I'm sure. Um, through, comes through the mail. The post office called me. They were very upset because <laughs> it's not something. I think the mail There's something <laughs> buzzing that you ordered. <laughs> well, it was. It wasn't even that because you know you can order chicks through the mail too, which I have done. Um, but it was that the bees were actually attracting other bees, so they put the bees outside, <laughs> and it was like I showed up to pick up this box. It's basically a shoe box with a wire, you know, thing around it. And um, there were just all these local bees, like, hanging out, trying to figure out. They smelled the queen, you know, so they mm -hmm. were excited about her, so.